VoicePod is a comprehensive home automation speech solution with a large number of features and possibilities for configuration. This video will help you get VoicePod up and running quickly in Control 4 according to our best practices. First, select a location that orients the front of the VoicePod, that's the side with the microphone opening, toward the primary speaking area. For optimal recognition, we recommend placing the unit close to a wall or corner. Plug in the power and wait for VoicePod to say VoicePod ready. VoicePod ready. Be sure the driver files are stored in your Control 4 driver folder. Once you have opened your project, double click on the VoicePod Global Properties driver under the Search tab Others and Manufacturer House Logics. You only need one global driver per project since it stores the media information for every VoicePod. Next, add the VoicePod driver to the corresponding room in the project. To identify the VoicePod over Zigbee, first go to Connections. Select the Network tab and double click on the VoicePod. At this point, you will need to press and hold the plus button on the voice pod. When prompted, push the talk button. When the LED flashes, push the talk button to join the network and identify. Network enabled. Joining network. Scanning network channels. After several seconds, the MAC address will appear in the address field. Identifying. Network join successful. Now, switch back to System Design, go to the VoicePod Driver Actions tab, and perform the Sound Library test, VoicePod by House Logics. Text to Speech test. VoicePod Text to Speech is working properly. And Recording test. At the tone, begin recording. This is a recording test for VoicePod. This is a recording test for VoicePod. Operation complete. VoicePod should respond immediately to each, and the recording test should record your voice and play it back clearly. Now, VoicePod is ready to accept speech commands. Try saying, Hello, VoicePod, from different locations in the room, and VoicePod should respond immediately. Issue a command such as good morning or raise temperature to ensure that the speech recognition is working. If the voice pod does not perform well in one location, try another. Room acoustics are tricky and often unexpected locations yield great results. Do not install the voice pod directly near an HVAC vent, speaker, or other noisy devices. For cavernous rooms with a lot of hard surfaces, external microphones or additional voice pods may be needed to provide complete hands-free coverage.